good morning to one and all with this session we are going to discuss about the polymers that is molding of plastics into articles at the end of this session students will be able to explain the different types of moldings of plastics into articles introduction we know in our day to day life we are using this particular plastic at home that is at domestic level as well as at industrial level also so this polymer it is formed by means of mixing together the number of ingredients that is 4 to 10 ingredients are mixed with each other each of these ingredients either discharges a useful function during this molding operation or imparts some useful property to the finished products this is called as a mix today we are going to discuss about this three types of molding operations that is first one is compression molding second is extrusion molding and third one is injection type of molding first compression molding compression molding this method is applied for thermo softening as well as thermo setting type of plastics here in this particular case as shown in diagram it consists of a die this die shows a top molding part and a bottom molding part these two parts are pinned together by means of guide pin at the bottom extraction pin is also provided plastic mold it is prepared by means of pressing the upper part of this mold before this a plastic mix is added in this particular portion and the pressure is applied from the top because of which it gives us a formed article the predetermined quantity of plastic ingredients in proper proportion gets filled between the top and bottom molding part of this die heat and pressure are then applied as per the specifications the cavity gets filled with molten plastics the two half are closed very slowly finally curing is done either by heating or cooling process after this curing the molded article is taken out by opening the mold parts here in this case very high volume and pressure these are considered almost 100 to 1500 kg per per centimeter cube of the pressure is applied plastic mold it is formed under this particular conditions the operative temperature is 130 to 180 degrees celsius advantages the production rate of this particular process is very high the formed products are getting a good finish that is surface uh, finish is very high level with a different texture and styling can be achieved flexibility it shows a very good flexibility in part design uh, which is possible wastage raw material wastage is minimum the cost of this particular mold or compression molding maintenance cost is very low residual stress are absent or negligible in the molded components twisting and shrinkage in product is reduced therefore dimensional accuracy is very good uses of compression molding compression molding is used to prepare dinner wares buttons radio cases automotives electric parts etc stop this video and answer this question compression type of molding operation is used to prepare a blended fabric b buttons c radio cases and d both b and c that is buttons and radio cases welcome back the answer of the previous question is d that is both b and c articles can be prepared by means of this compression type of molding because fabric 
manufacturing is not possible with this particular compression type of molding. Second, extrusion molding. Extrusion molding is mainly used for molding the thermoplastic type of materials into articles of uniform cross section. Here we can see the diagram over here. It consists of a hopper, it consists of a screw conveyor, heaters are also provided, metallic wire is drawn from the top. In actual operation, the plastic is fed to this through this hopper, screw forwarding this material forward and because of this heater, it gets heated up to plastic size and then after it is we can say gets molded. So in actual the ingredients are heated to plastic conditions then pushed by means of screw conveyor into die to form a required articles. The plastic mass gets cooled because of air a long conveyor carries away continuously the cooled products. Uses Extrusion type of molding operation is used in manufacture of tubes, rods, insulated material wires, filaments, optical fibers, cables, etc. This method is widely used for thermo softening type of plastic. We are talking about this injection type of molding. Third type of molding is injection type of molding and basically this is used for thermo softening type of plastic manufacturing. This is used for thermo softening type of plastics manufacturing because it has a high speed of production, low mold cost, very low loss of material and low finishing cost. Injection type of molding operation, this is a diagram shown over here. It consists of once again a hopper, Archimedean screw. Heaters are also provided, nozzle is present, at the same time a mold is also provided. This mold again consists of extraction pin, top molding part, bottom molding part and in actual operation the plastic is fed through this hopper, Archimedean screw forward this material into the heating section that is heaters it gets converted into molten mass and because of this Archimedean screw this gets forwarded pushed into the top and in between the top and bottom molding parts. After this the article is cooled and it is taken out. In actual the uses of this injection molding are it is most widely used for manufacture of buckets, dustbins, flower pots, etc. For this, I have used a textbook of engineering chemistry by Jane and Jane.